obviously game two, we've seen throughout kind of the big game of adjustments and then tip you off game one and move on. How different do you expect tonight's game to look based on that? Um, I mean, I don't expect uh, too many differences. I know they're going to bring their speed. We hope to have a better start. And we'll take from there. Left side, second row, Greg. Aaron, you've got a long flight ahead of you in a couple of days. Can you give us a sense of how intense these poker games get and a lay of the land on who the good players are? <laughs> Yeah, I got. Uh, we're actually sitting in the same position as we would be right now if we were at the table. So <laughs> um, they get pretty intense. We uh, we have a good time with it. It's, it's uh, competitive, like you'd expect. Third row, Matt. Uh, Sam, I'm just curious if you saw what Gretzky said in Game One about Barkov um, being the best defensive forward he's seen since Brian Chachi. And a lot's been made about Barkov over the years as a great defensive player. He's been recognized for it. What separates him, in your opinion, from everyone else on the defensive side of the ball? Um, yeah, I, I actually didn't see what he said, but um, obviously Barkey's, you know, we've known um, for a while how special he is and how good he is in all areas of, of, on the ice. Um, I think what separates him is just his ability to do everything. Uh, he's, you know, he's an unbelievable skater. He's got the size. He's got incredible hands, um, and he cares to play defense. He, he wants to, to stop the top guys. So, um, yeah, he's just a guy that's willing to do anything, and um, he has the skill set to, to match everyone. Front row, Jordan. Yeah, for both of you guys, just one that's just the impact that Stephen Lawrence has made for you guys both in the room and on the ice when he's playing, especially even that, that stretch where he was out of the line. He's just seemed like the same guy, the same upbeat guy. Just what kind of vibes, I guess, does he bring and how much does his positivity, his energy help you guys, whether he's playing or not? Um, all the guys that come in and out of the lineup for us, um, especially Laurie, uh, always has a smile on his face. One of those guys who's positive, upbeat, optimistic, and uh, I think that uh, helps us a lot. It gives us uh, a lot of energy. Um, you saw last game, I think he had quite a few hits um, early in the game. He was flying around, so his energy is huge and, and we love the way he plays. Do you want to add anything, sir? I think you got rid of it all. Okay. Uh, front row, right? Well, this is mainly Aiden for Aaron, but Sam, I'd like you to answer as well. Um, defensively, you guys have very limited the top players all three rounds of the playoffs, and now you get, you know, Connor McDavid et al. Um, what kind of challenge do you take that as to be take on these big guys, and what pride do you take in that you've been able to shut them down thus far? Um, Absolute pride in the, the job and the challenge. Um, they got quite a few chances, so I don't know if we would have necessarily shut them down. So um, we're confident in what Bob can do behind us, which is huge. So that gives us the opportunity to, um, you know, have courage and, and have good gaps. And our forwards with their back pressure, um, the five man unit that it takes to take on players like that is, is ultimately what it comes down to. So. Um, not five man, six man unit with Bob behind us. So it's a uh, team effort for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, they obviously got some some elite players over there. So um, our focus all year has been, um, you know, defense first, and we, we've had we've done a good job all year, and um, you know the challenge is just even more intense now. So um, we're up for it, and um, yeah, everyone's bought into. To that belief and into that system. Right side, second row. Aaron, you held them off the, with, on the PK last game. Obviously, that was very dangerous probably. What, what do you think you did well, and is there things you still can clean up there, and how much is that an evolving building thing over a series that you, your special teams are going against their special teams and things are adjusting? Yeah. Um, I mean, they got some incredible chances. Um, obviously, our PK is predicated on pressure um, all the way, and, and we never want to lose that especially against a team like this. The more time you give them, they're going to make plays. But at the end of the day, once they get their head up and they're, you know, you're staring down the barrel at them, they make the plays. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a hell of a, a tough job. So we'll, we'll keep doing our best. Left side, third row. Sam, building off that, you mentioned the lead players on the other side. How hard is it to avoid taking penalties against players with such skill? Yeah, it's, it's going to be tough. Um, Obviously, that's you know they're they're strong too. They want to get on the power play. They they want to use um, you know their top guys in, in those uh, opportunities. So um, 
we, we know we, we can be uh, more disciplined and um, it's obviously, we've done a good job so far in the playoffs, but um, it's even more crucial now. So um, yeah, our, our discipline is gonna be really important. There are no more questions. Thank you for your time, guys. Thanks, guys.